how to set up the Soaks 112 compact Geiger counter, plus we take it to a radioactive spring to take some measurements. The Soaks 112 is exceptionally compact and designed for the measurement of background radiation ranging from 0.01 to 999 microsieverts per hour. The device features an LED indicator light. This, along with an audible alarm, indicates when the user set background radiation threshold has been exceeded. An LCD display and two buttons. These are mode and the on-off button. To get started, switch on the device by pressing and holding the on-off button until all the LCD segments fill. The device switches on and is in background radiation measurement mode. In this mode, we can see the current background radiation value, the particle registration counter indicator flashing on the screen, and the units of measurement. This is in microsieverts per hour. Pressing the mode button switches into the accumulated dose display mode. In this display mode, the LCD screen shows the accumulated dose value and the units of measurement. This will depend on the accumulation level and will be in either microsieverts, millisieverts or sieverts. To clear the accumulated dose and reset the calculation, press and hold the mode button while in accumulated dose display mode. The segments will flash on the display and reset is complete when the device returns to zero. Next, we'll go over the device setup menu. There are four adjustment options. Enter the setup menu, press and hold the mode key while in background radiation measurement mode until H1 appears on the LCD. The H1 setting is the auto off adjustment time. H1 and the current setting, in this case 10 minutes, will flash on the display. To adjust this setting, press and hold the mode button until the parameter starts to flash. Then use either the mode or on off key to cycle through the options. Choose an auto off time between 10, 60, 120, 0, 1, 3 or 5 minutes. When your required auto off time is displayed, press and hold mode to save the setting. Continue to hold the mode button down as all the segments flash. Release the button once your set value remains on the display. Now H1 and the newly set value will alternate on the display. Press mode or the on off button to move on to the next settings option. Menu setting H2 is the background radiation threshold value. H2 and the current set value will alternate on the display. Press and hold mode to enter into background radiation threshold setup. Use the mode or on off key to change the setting value. Choose a background radiation value threshold between 1.2, 1.5, 2, 5, 10, 50, 100, 0, 0.2, 0.4, 0.6, or 1 microsieverts per hour. When your required threshold is displayed, press and hold mode to save the setting. Continue to hold the button down as all the segments flash, then release the button once your set value remains on the display. Now H2 and the newly set value will alternate on the display. Press on off to move on to the third menu option. Menu item H3 is the sound indicator. Press and hold mode to enter into the sound indicator setup. Choose a sound indicator setting between 1, this is on, 2, this is only if the radiation background threshold is exceeded, and 0, this is off. As with previous settings, press and hold the mode button to confirm your selection, wait for the value to remain on the display, and then you can release mode. Press the on off button to move on to the final setup value. This is H4 LED light indicator setup. Press and hold mode to enter LED indicator setup. Choose an LED indicator setting between 1 is on, 2 is only flashing if the radiation background threshold is exceeded, and 0, this is off. Press and hold the mode button to confirm your selection, wait for the value to remain on the display, then release the mode button. To exit the setup menu, press no keys. The device will automatically return to the background radiation mode after no keys have been pressed for a few seconds. Time to take a measurement. Around the office, we achieve a background radiation level around 0.09 to 0.1 microsieverts per hour. So we decided to take our Soaks 112 out to a radioactive hot spring to see what we could measure. We trekked up to Paralina Hot Springs in the Flinders Ranges, about 600 kilometers north of Adelaide. These hot springs are said to be one of the only three springs in the world where the water is heated only by the breakdown of radioactive materials. For reference, we stopped at a non-radioactive spring on the way. The baseline measurement here was also similar to what we experienced in the office, around 0.09 to 0.1 microsieverts per hour. Our first measurement at Paralana was around 50 metres from the pools. 
The background radiation measurement came in at 0.54 microsieverts per hour. Down by the spring, the level starts at 1.06 microsieverts per hour and begins to climb rapidly. As the level exceeds our preset alarm limit of 1.2 microsieverts per hour, the audible alarm begins to sound. After holding the soaks 112 for a minute or so, the maximum level we achieved was 1.66 microsieverts per hour. This level was far higher than the background levels recorded at the office and the expected levels of around 0.05 or 0.2 microsieverts per hour within Australia. And that's how to set up and use the Soaks 112 Compact Guide Counter 